President Shori Museveni has today met an old friend, Dr. Pierre Perrin, formerly working with the International Committee of the Red Cross, abducted by NRA and expelled by government forces in 1984 at the height of the NRA liberation struggle in Luero Triangle. Now let's take you back a bit. On January 7th, 1984, 11 employees of the Red Cross, then on a routine medical mission, fell into an ambush by the NRA Liberation Army that had infiltrated Luero. The employees included Dr. Pieri, who was then chief medical officer at the time of capture and helped several injured soldiers. On January 9th that same year, the NRA released seven hostages for Swiss, including Pieri's wife, Kristin Perrin, who was then a nurse with ICRC, and three Ugandans. Two weeks later, the rest of the hostages, including Dr. Pieri Perrin, were set free. However, Pieri and his Swiss team were immediately arrested by the government forces and questioned about Museveni and the NRA. When they testified that they were treated well and left, left to go, government expelled them to avoid positive publicity for the NRA in the diaspora. The newspapers in Europe talked widely about Museveni and the abduction and government did not want to risk them portraying Museveni as a good person. Now on February 20th, the NRA attacked Masindi Barracks in a major victory against the UNLA government. Uh, Dr. Pierre Perrin is now an expert in public health and human security in complex emergencies best in France. Terry, together with his team, were accompanied to State House by the head of delegation, the International Committee of the Red Cross in Uganda, Zoran Jonanovic, and the international relations communications expert at ICRC in Uganda, Judith Kichoncho. The meeting was also attended by NRM Secretary General Justin Lumumba Kasule. President Museveni said he has been looking for Dr. Pieri since the end of the, war, of, of the war, until recently when he talked to the president of the ICRC who visited Uganda and promised to trust him. He encouraged him to write his experiences at the time. On his part, Dr. Pieri commended President Museveni for the economic development the country has undergone since the war. He donated to him one of his latest books in which he mentions the president.